Hi folks and welcome to the Truck King Truck of the Year announcement video. 2021 was a tough year for a lot of reasons, but the pickup truck segment soldiers on, bringing out some of its best products ever. For 2022, there were four trucks that were majorly redesigned that qualified for our award. The first one is the all new Toyota Tundra. New frame and a brand new twin turbocharged V6 now powers that half ton Toyota. Secondly, the Ford Maverick, bringing back an old name with a new segment. You've got a small truck, compact truck at a price point that should attract a lot of new buyers. From Hyundai, we have the Santa Cruz. Hyundai is jumping into the pickup truck market with this little compact truck, and it'll be interesting to see how this thing sells next to that Maverick. Last but not least, the Nissan Frontier. 17 years since the last redesign. We had great hopes for it. We drove it, we tested it. The review's right here on the channel. And right now in this video, we're gonna break down for you all the reasons why we chose our winner. And let's not waste any time. For 2022, the Truck King Truck of the Year is the Ford Maverick. So when it comes to testing, we've done all that. We towed with each of these trucks. We did payload. We've had the stuff off-road. We've done the walk-arounds. And there's several videos right here on the channel. If you haven't seen them, please go back, have a look. We've tried to cover everything in as much detail as we can. Having said that, I'm not going to bore you with the details. Instead, let's look at the big picture when it comes to our winner, the Ford Maverick. So to start with, it's reignited a segment. Some people call it a new segment. Some people call it the rebirth, but this is compact trucks. This now gives us compacts, midsize, full size, heavy duties. I love the fact that we've got more and more trucks out there, which is more choice. More choice, also more competition, good for pricing. That alone matters when we look at our truck of the year. Yeah, you have to give them credit for sort of expanding that truck market. And then the next thing I think we both recognized in that Maverick is you got in it and you didn't feel like it was a crossover with the bed. You didn't feel like it was built by a company that doesn't know trucks. You got in and went, oh, this is a Ford pickup truck. And I think that's an important distinction because I think a lot of people might have the fear of getting in and it feels, I don't know, just somehow disingenuous, like you're not really a truck guy. I didn't get that feeling from it at all. And, and I will quickly say that's sort of more the Santa Cruz's territory. I'm not knocking the Santa Cruz, but it doesn't come across as feeling like a truck where the Maverick does. And some of that is in the engineering. Some of it might be intangible just in the styling too. Um, but yes, you know, Ford really succeeded at building a small truck and no one will mistake it for anything else. Yeah, and you know, we gotta put this out right here. We've said this before. This is not the truck to suit everybody. However, I like to always go back to my hammer analogy. I own 20 different hammers, sledgehammer, roofing hammer, ball peen hammer, sheet metal hammer. The point is right tool for the right job. And this truck is gonna work for a lot of people. And if you look at it and go, well, that doesn't work for me. Well, good for you then. You got Ranger, you got F-150, 250, 350, pick your poison. So, but that's what's nice is that you don't end up buying more truck than you need. And this is something that we've been struggling with for a couple of years now. Yeah, because let's not forget, there was a time when Ford said, no, 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 we don't need small trucks. F-150 is all you ever need. So this is a complete turnaround from what they once believed. And I also feel like, Dad, we're finally seeing Ford come into its final form. They announced many years ago that they were gonna stop building cars, except the Mustang. And we're basically there now where they have a full truck lineup and, and, and the Maverick, I'm sure, was always going to be part of that. And you know now they've just actually brought it out to the market and yeah, they nailed it.
The other part which has to do with the Maverick and yet doesn't have to do with the Maverick is that if you're Ford and you launch a truck, the other guys are going to follow you. So even though we have no clue yet what we're going to see from Ram or what we're going to see from General Motors, we know they're going to come back with something. And to me, that's exciting because that just means once again, more models, more choice. Yeah, absolutely. Um, one more point, if I can make it, which I think really sets the Maverick apart, standard base model hybrid. You don't see that anywhere else where the most inexpensive model is also the most efficient with the hybrid power, power plant. So that was another play by Ford to say, hey, let's kind of turn this thinking on its head and say, no, you can get the one that's going to be the cheapest on fuel is also the cheapest at the dealer, which makes a lot of sense. It makes a compelling sales argument when you see the price point. Pricing, fuel economy, decent daily driver, and four doors. This is another thing. We get a lot of comments saying, why don't they just build a, a two-door like we used to have back in the day? Why? Because that's the reason we went to four doors is because mm -hmm. you have family. You got kids, you got a dog, you got a wife. They want the four doors. Now we're really playing with sort of the product that suits everybody. When I was a kid, my mom drove an Oldsmobile. My dad had an F100. Why? Because we couldn't all get in the freaking truck. <laughs> so we always had two vehicles, you know, but we've now progressed to that point where the truck, frankly, can be the family car. And Maverick is just following really what the manufacturers have already done in the 1500 series. But the fact that they've put all that into that small package, it was just really well done. So congratulations to Ford, but specifically and more locally, thank you to Ford Canada right here in Oakville, Ontario for making those vehicles available to us for testing. And actually right now I'll even mention so far we've only driven the two wheel or two liter EcoBoost. We're going to be getting a hybrid really soon here on the channel. So make sure you stay tuned for that review because so far I've only read about it. I haven't actually driven it and I'm excited to get in that truck. Well, Dad, we're coming to the end of this one. Of course, you know, I'm going to invite you guys. Please let us know your thoughts out of these four trucks. Which one would you have picked? And, and I think for me, the, really the final point I want to make is that when it comes to pickup trucks, Ford has never been scared to take chances. Look at the aluminum body on the F-150 and now look at entering this whole new segment with the Maverick. They really go out on a limb sometimes, and I think that this is already paying off. So you saw the company take the gamble, and you know what? Bet big to win big, and I think Ford's going to win big with this little truck. I couldn't agree more. Well, folks, like I said, please go below. Leave us that comment. While you're down there, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, hit join to become a member of the channel, and then stay tuned right here to Truck King because we've got all kinds of great pickup truck testing coming your way. See ya. Hoping for a great 2022.